Mexico with new houses. <laughs> oh, hello, car. You a security? It's a Karen. It's a Karen. Hey, Karen. Don't smack into that shit. Don't smack into that? <laughs> you ready? Yeah, you don't need to even really pull the heat brake. No. No. Oh, well, enough. No one, someone don't have bars. <laughs> I'm a Honda driver. <laughs> wait, 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 wait. You gotta remember, I'm a Honda driver, right? This nigga said he's a Honda I'm driver. A Honda driver. <laughs> What's up you guys? Welcome back to Simple Sick Builds. As you saw at the beginning of the video, we're over here trying to drift and shit, but we need to dip, we need a weld the differential. And uh, this boy right here, the Honda boy, says he can do it without uh, taking the whole differential out. So, uh, is tuned. that going to be possible? Hell yeah! I still doubt it, so... Uh, I'm going to show you right now. Uh, we're going to see right now, and I'm going to turn off the camera real quick so I can help him out, because you know... You know, us Miata boys gotta stick together and do our shit. Oh, all of a sudden, boys. Miata boys. <laughs> all of a sudden. All right, guys. So let's see what we can do. But uh, he's gonna try to do it with the differential on. I seen videos on YouTube and people take the whole thing There's off. There's a problem. Don't YouTube it. The hell the fuck is Oh, you're right. Then why are they looking at this video? Oh. <laughs> 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 Whatever. <laughs> Alright guys, so he's uh, moving uh, this little link thing. Yeah, what, would be you, my way. what would you call that? Bro? Um, the chundera that supports this for some reason. Really bro, you're a car guy. <laughs> the Miata thing, remember? The Miata thing? So yeah, I'm, not, I'm new to Miatas. So this is the first time he ever molested a Miata before? For facts. Yeah, mine's the first one, so... Uh, yeah, we're gonna move that. And what were the bolt sizes for that? 18. 18, okay guys. 18. Uh, then we gotta figure out what's that. Then he's at it's like a 22. 22? Yeah. Why do you have to remove that? That's to take out the oil. It's the top one. Isn't it? The one with the blue mark on it? The one with the blue mark? Yeah, it's the top one. What? Well, that's the... Well, the top one is a fill, because it's obviously uh -huh. on the high point. Uh -huh. There's the low point to drain. Isn't there another lower one than that one? The lower one? Yeah. No full one? Make sure you loosen that just in case, bro, first. That's the top one. Yeah, fill it up. What if we can't open them? Why open? you want to fill it up? Just open it so it can be loose. Wait, wait, wait. <laughs> All right, guys, so we're going to loosen those two, and then we'll see what's up, because I want to get that one loosened first. All right, we'll loosen that. All right. <laughs> so, uh, what's going on, man? You, you going to weld it with it on there, or what? Mm. Yeah. Bullshit. <laughs> Bullshit. I'm just gonna weld here. Bullshit. I'm welding all this Fuck and all God. here to make it all one. <laughs> so he realized that he has to remove it because the welds are coming from this side instead of going. He thought it was just to remove the cap and remove it that way, but uh, no. It comes in from the opposite, opposite side, so it's side. definitely have to remove. So, Sorry, boys, guys. boys, I got y'all. See? Sorry. I'm, I'm fresh to the Miata game, but I, I'm, I'm kind of understanding this shit, so. Let, let's, let me help him take off the wheels and All proceed right. this. Alright guys, so it's going to be like a simple dismantled process. We're not going to show you because there's so many freaking videos out there of everybody doing this. But it's technically all these right here. It's like four total. And Eight. on the opposite side is what? what? Eight total. Eight total. So I'm talking about per side. Oh, per side. Per side is four total four. per side. And then after you take off those four, you're going to come up to the actual tire right here and take off the top, it's the knuckle, right? Yep. The top knuckle, so this can teeter forward and it can be loose, and then after that, we're gonna proceed to take these two bottom ones off. So we can drop this, and uh, after that, I'll update you to see what's up, guys, because I know these have to come off up here that hold this in, and something in the front for the actual, uh, what do you call that thing in the, the thing that makes the rotate? What's it called? Fuck, I lost the name. The, the one that makes the tires rotate. It's the shaft, the axle shaft. Oh, that's right here. The drive, drive shaft. The drive shaft. There you go. The drive shaft. So yeah, guys, I'll turn on the camera once we get both of this loose. All right, you guys. So for us to take off the axle bolts, the four ones that I mentioned earlier, when he was uh, untying it, I was holding it with this, and I put my lug nut on and just holding it, trying like this, so the wheel wouldn't turn. So 
I don't know if you can do this with one person. If you do do it with one person, you're savage because I couldn't. We couldn't do it <laughs> just by ourselves. So e break, e break, e break, e well e break. But you're by yourself. Yeah, but sometimes it doesn't work with e break. So I'm assuming, right? So yeah, guys. So uh, let me proceed to help them take this crap off, and uh, we'll be good to go. Here's a little update for you guys. We removed the, the top, like I mentioned, this. So this comes back. We removed the, the axle from that. I zip tied it here. My boy over here zip tied it. Where the fuck is zip tied it to? Right there. So now we're gonna proceed to remove the exhaust and uh, so I can get it away and then we'll start unbolting the rest. And so. this should be fairly easy for him, but not for me, because uh, I don't know what the hell I'm doing. But I'm trying to help him out as much as possible. <laughs> My pops are <laughs> <laughs> oh, I should've kept pulling this motherfucker out, bro. I'm gonna spill this shit, dude. Oh, shit. <laughs> <laughs> Take it out. Oh, the top one. Come on, baby. The top one at least. Come on. Come on. Oh, oh shit! <laughs> 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 Dude, he scared the fuck out of me. <laughs> I can't take this one out though. Oh, oh. I can do it. Oh yeah, baby, come on. Uh, when was the last time you did it raw? <laughs> uh, last night? <laughs> this nigga. Hey, you asked, right? Huh? You asked. I shouldn't have asked. <laughs> oh, finally guys, we got this thing out. Uh. Great, we got that thing out. Let's proceed with the rest of the stuff. That was a pain, guys. Look at me. I got hurt. Fuck you. All right, guys, we gotta take a five minute break. So, cheers. She's still on that Corona Premium. Mm hmm. <laughs> Fuck. Woo! That was refreshing. All right, let's get back to it. All right, guys, so now we're gonna proceed. Stick out the drive shaft, and it's uh, 14 millimeters, right? Four, How many of them? Four. Total of four, and uh, they seem to be coming out fairly easy because he's doing like with no fucking problem. Are these gonna take off or no? Yeah. Okay, they're easy. So let's remove that, and I'll pick up the camera once we move on to the next part. So while he takes off the drive shaft bolts, I'm gonna tackle these. These are 17, I said, or 18? Yeah, they're 17s. So uh, let me knock these out. These are super long, so. Uh, yeah, you gonna need a baker bar for these for sure. So let me try to tackle these while he does those. Why? Why? All right, guys, hold on. Let me put the camera down real quick. So this is the inner bolt that goes right here where this like a little washer. Is the one. That's this one right here with a little like a uh, shoulder, and then the one that has nothing on it, like this one, goes in this one right here. So the back one to the back of the bumper, and this one goes to the front. So my bad, bro. Okay. Yeah, that's how they go, so let's continue to proceed to take all the shit off. Okay guys, we took oh. off the drive shaft off, as you can see it right there. That's the drive shaft that goes up there. We removed the ones that went right here, so now we're noticing these 14 millimeter bolts. We're not sure if we have to take off those, but uh, we're, we're going to take them off just to keep it safe, you know, to, so it won't be dangling. And after that, only these top main ones right here, this one. And that one are left, and we're all golden, and we'll take them off. So let's see how long this takes to take off those little bastards because they're so seized in there. All right, guys. Corona time. time. Corona time. You got the motherfucker out. Cheers. Second break of the day. Oh, it feels so refreshing. The sun's going down, and it's still hot as shit in here. So let's see what we're gonna do next. <clears throat> All right, you guys, my boy Ricky is tackling this thing, and so far, everything has been coming off so easily that it surprises me. Yeah, the only thing that didn't come off easy was the actual uh, diff, because it had the little spacers between it. That was it. But that was it, and I'm used to messing with Hondas, and so is he, so everything usually you be beating up your knuckles and shit, this is coming off like butter, bro, like technical. Stupid butter. So, uh, yeah, let's proceed to take that off, and let's see how it looks inside. So, give us one second, and uh, let's see how fast we can take this off. All right, so this is That's the so bottom uh, of the of the diff. Easy. So this is facing towards the engine, and this is facing towards the back bumper. And this is where that we're having trouble taking this off. So this one is has like a little shoulder, so it's different compared 
to the one next to it that's just really tiny. The rest tiny. are the same. Are they all the same? Except for that so one. So unfortunately... So it looks just one. It's so only far. one, right? Yeah. Okay, so it's only one. Oh, I was going to say they're like randomly like that? That's going to suck because... Let me take this one off. Because then how are you going to know which one's which, you know? Yeah. So let me take this one off my hand real quick. And we'll find out. Are they all the same size? Yeah, they're all 12s. They are 12s. Okay, they are all 12s. Yeah, the, are they longer than each other? No, they're the same thing. Are these longer oh, than I this? found one. Is that one long, um, like this one too? Yeah, there's that one. Okay, so there's two so far. Two so far. You should mark it where this one came out, bro. You yeah, have a, like a chalk? Yeah, I'll have the same two right now. Alright, so let me just drop this in. I'm gonna drop this in there, just have it in there. You wanna drop this in where it came from? Alright, so basically the ones that we just dropped in have a shoulder on them. And uh, the chingadero over here that you like to say? No, this one don't. No? no uh, Alright. So there's only two? Only two. Okay, only two of them. So I recommend is take them all the way out, leave them in there, and then mark it with the chalk. Just so you guys can know what's up. Or mark it with anything, a little spray, a little spray, a little spray on it. Just so you can know which ones go where. Because it could damage you, huh? Like, it yeah, might not go yeah, all the way. it won't go in. Alright guys, so yeah. So yeah, look. Use this as your guide. Okay. Right there. Oh, there you go. That's the guide for that one. That one goes right there. What about the other one? You got one, two, three, four, five. And then five, the one next to the actual chingadera. Right? You like to say that didn't come off. All right, that's our guide right there. This one right here where it was having a pain that has to come off. It's the lowest second bolt that's what by the spacer. And then the top one is where that little notch is right there. Yep. All right, we're good to go. So let's do this. <laughs> guys, we're no another problem. <laughs> so we're not sure we have to take this off. No, we got to take this off. We have to? Yes. Sure? Okay. Cool. How is this going to come over, over okay. that? Right, yeah. This has to come off. So the housing, the casing. Do you think that's why people take the axle off last? Yeah. <laughs> Alright, well we probably fucked up and didn't take the axle up. off. So now we're going to have to fight this off somehow, some way. Yeah. That ain't no easy way, but we'll try. So, uh, yeah, we'll let you know how it goes because now we're fucked. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, we got it off. So we took it off with an impact. I would not have done that at home. Okay? <laughs> I don't have shit like that. I don't have none of these tools. So, alright hey bro. Found that shit, bro. Boom. We got that shit off. There it is. There we go. See, everything's been so easy on the Mazda, been bro. Hella easy, I bro. love you, Mazda. <laughs> <laughs> not trying to take that off, motherfucker. <laughs> no, I need a hammer. Alright, so we're going to proceed to take this off. Let's see how this goes now. Since everything's been so easy, that this is, this is amazing. <laughs> I knew it happened. Alright, pick up when we get this thing open. Alright, guys, we finally got this motherfucker out. Woo! It took us forever because we're dumbass fucking. We never messed with the Miata. <laughs> so, the only reason it got stuck and we couldn't pull it off, we got this uh, bolt off with the uh, power tool, obviously. But then these mother lovers had to come off too. We didn't know. Hey, As for us, that we know. I right? just figured something out. What happened? We didn't have to take this off. We didn't? No, it was just this. Well, fuck oh. it, bro. Well, we okay, we don't know. We learned yeah. something. We, this is our first time fucking with the Miata for me. I don't know if you ever touched one. Nope. But uh, we didn't have to take that off, but now we know we you can take that motherfucker off. So we'll put that on last when we, when we bolt in the fucking thing, bro. You can just put it on there like, like, like there or what? Just to keep it off. That's cool, bro. Yeah, we'll leave it off. Well, cool. now we know, guys. All right, now you know. So now we're going to uh, light it on fire, right? Yep. And we're going to light it on fire. You know me, I light fire. <laughs> <laughs> All right, we're gonna get this done, and uh, I'll pick the camera up right now. Let's just see what we're gonna do next. And uh, can I get another break? Oh, yeah. I, I need another break, bro. You know I me. Mean? I need another break. <laughs> break in there.
So we welded the edges on it, as you can tell right there on the side. But now he put a plate in here. What? Now we put a plate on there for more rigidity. No, but tell him that when you weld this, it doesn't have to be pretty. Oh, we, we know that. No, people are gonna say, uh, yeah, people are gonna, oh, shitty bro, wheels. bro, it's the internet. People are gonna talk shit regardless. They're probably gonna talk about us taking it apart wrong. Look at those shitty wheels. Okay, so he, he put this to even it out. Oh my god, that's fucking hot. Why did I touch it? So when you weld this shit, mm -hmm. there's gonna be little bubbles. Mm -hmm. Make sure you break those off. Like I already cleaned it. Oh, uh, is that what you, you were doing that? Okay. Yeah, there's little bubbles. You don't want to leave those because then they fall off and fuck this shit. But I, was, I heard that even if I we weld it after I run the fluid in to let it drain out and then refresh the yeah. fluid. That's a good idea, right? Yeah. All right, guys. So he's going to finish doing that and uh, I'll turn the camera back on see where we're at. Guys. It is. All right, guys. The dip is finally welded. Spin it real quick. That's hot. Right there. It's, it's not nice. Don't judge. Yeah, don't fucking judge us. It's inside the house, so who the okay. hell cares? Right there. It's all good now. We're just gonna get a little bit, little clean one more time before we put it in, but uh, yep. cheers, bro. Cheers to that one. Go another break time. time. <laughs> another and one. Another one. <laughs> and uh, we're not gonna show you the process of us installing it because same way it came out, it goes back in. Duh. Nothing special. And uh, we're gonna see if we can have enough time, enough daylight to give it a little swing, so. Oh. Alright guys, if not then I can't film because this camera's not good at night time, but yeah guys Corona time <laughs> Remember, don't get married Orale. And then you got the fucking beware of wife right there <laughs> Alright All right. All right, guys, he's about to turn the car on Go Go for it You hear that tick? What is that? Huh? Oh. You ready? Go. Woo! Woo! We're bustling now. Oh, I'm ready, bro. Hey, I had a question for you. Do my turn signals. The other one. Alright, they work. Ah, uh, they work. Okay, cool. <laughs> Alright, guys, so, um. So we got factory LSD? We got factory LSD now, that's what he <laughs> said. This took longer than we thought. Look outside, guys. It's fucking okay. dark. But we're noobs at this. We never messed around with the Miata. Nope. He messed with the 240 before. He thought it was as easy as just taking off the cover and welding it, but this is different. Or, I don't know, I never owned it. You got it done. That's it. And it works. Okay. So, uh, let's see if we can maybe swing it a little bit. Right here. Right here. Okay, well, let, let me just... Uh, Grab, a, grab, a, grab, a, grab some stuff off the car real quick and just a quick one so you guys can see, alright? So, let me see if we can head to Mexico. How far is Mexico from here? Uh, two minutes. Two minutes, two minutes from Mexico, so, okay, guys. No, nah, the wheel's unadjustable, bro. Yeah. It's kind of dark, you guys. I'm gonna try to see the best we can do. Oh, shit. How does it feel? <laughs> Crazy. Like, fucking shit, huh? Sorry, guys, you guys can't see anything. I don't got lights in here, so it's like there's no lights. Only light. Yeah, is. right there, bro. Yeah, this thing. Whoa. What? That's cool. <laughs> Fuck you. <laughs> oh shit, man. Bro, what if there's cops and we don't see them? You know the Mexican police don't fuck around, bro. They fuck around with the cartel. How's it gonna sound when we turn? You think it hop out while you do it? Oh, there's no lights, man. I ain't. That's what I just told you. Yeah, I thought there was lights. What are you doing? Man, this There's a cop right there. Is there? There's a cop, no? Oh, I just saw some fat ass lights. Just go to go, go just go. Just, what is that? That's not a cop. I don't think we'll be able to use this footage, obviously. Want me to get out real quick? No. No? No. It's too hot, huh? Just the whole okay. thing, huh? Yeah, I guess I was like, we're about to get pulled over from the cops. Bro, it's, a, it's locked. <laughs> yeah, I forget. Everything's gonna turn. That's scary. <laughs> oh, <laughs> oh, 
I got scared. I was like, what the fuck? No, the next thing we know is like, we're gonna get like stuck here. The cops come like, hey, what the fuck were y'all doing, bro? Like, hey, I don't know. What the fuck do I say? Get pops out of here? Yeah. Yeah? We'll find out when I'm driving home. Yeah. Alright, guys, I'm gonna turn off the camera because you can't really see shit. It's too dark. And, uh, yeah. I'll see you back when we get to the garage. If you go too fast, <laughs> All right, guys. So I went. We went to test drive this shit, and holy crap, does it swing? It swings. Now. It just sucks when you when you like turn. Cause I thought it was like breaking on us, huh? I thought it was breaking on us too, but it just wanted to go. <laughs> <laughs> Alright guys, with that being said, I'm gonna have to guys see you on the next one, so please comment, subscribe, throw me a thumbs up, and I'll see you guys on the next one. Peace out.